What's up, y'all? Hey, what's up, YouTube? What's up, loyal gang? What's up, diva gang? Welcome to this YouTube channel. Welcome, welcome, welcome. You feel that? You feel that? Good vibes and good energy coming your way. Yes, yes. You feel that? Good vibes and good energy coming straight your way. So, um... You already know. And if you don't know, you're about to know. I'm not for everybody. You're not for everybody. We not for everybody. You heard it from your one and your only, Lynn Restore Love. And yes, you seen by the title, I said what I said and what? I said what I said and what? I said what I said and what? Problem? Oh, well, hmm. Okay, so today is March the 10th. And I was just sitting here just thinking, like, you know what? Why not just tell the people? Why not just put it out there for the people? Like, 10 things that annoy me. 10 things I can't stand. 10 things that bug the up out of me. Like, don't do that, sis. Don't do that, king. Just don't do that. Oh. It's that simple. Oh. <laughs> um, so, yeah. So, I just want to do um, 10 things that annoy me. 10 things I cannot stand, y'all. And um, this is one way that will also help y'all get to know your girl in. And, yeah, put it out there for what it is. So, I said what I said and what? I said what I said and what? Problem? Oh, well, hmm. Okay, so, um, I'm looking down because I'm looking at my notes because I wrote it. I wrote it down, y'all. I wrote it down so your girl can be all on top of it and stay on track because, you know, your girl Lynn can go here, there, and everywhere. So, I'm, I'm going to stay on track, y'all. So, uh, number 10 is, um, I can't stand people smacking. Like, you don't have to smack while you eating. That's annoying. Like, close your mouth and chew slow. Take your time and please don't smack. Don't do that. Please don't smack. Don't do that. No. That's so annoying. Like, I don't even want to eat no more because, like, do you really have to smack while you eating? I mean, I know it's good. But, like, can you, like, slow down and take your time because... You like, you bugging me right now. <laughs> you you bugging me right now. Hmm. Okay. Number nine, being around boring people. I can't stand being around boring people. Like, I find it so annoying. Like, don't be around me and be all dry and in Great Depression and just going through World War 100. Like, Keep that energy somewhere from away from me. I can't stand it. Like, don't come around me and you like, you boring. Because, like, you just, you messed up my energy. Like, you just, you drain my vibe. And now I want to go to sleep. Like, that ain't even right. And I'm I'm super annoyed because like sleep wasn't even on my mind, but because you're boring. Now sis is just about to go to sleep. Excuse me. <laughs> yeah, that's just that's how your girl Lynn be feeling for real. So don't come around me boring. Like if you already know you don't want to do nothing, you're not trying to go nowhere, you're not trying to turn up, you're not trying to. You know, be in a good high spirit and be happy and energetic. Like, get from around me because, mm-mm, mm-mm, we, we don't vibe. We not connecting. Don't do that. Okay. Number eight. Uh, I can't stand when a person call me with guilt trip. Like, don't be calling my phone and you always on guilt trip. Like, Every time you call him, Lynn, you on guilt trip. Like, you have nothing but guilt trip. Oh, my phone is about to get cut off. Oh, my kids ain't eight in 20 days. 
Oh, he cheated and he lied and he cheated and he lied. Sis, what you gonna do about it? You gonna stay with him. So why you calling me? Talk to him about it because I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. Calling me with guilt trip. Every time you calling me, you sad and going through Great Depression. Well, hold on. Wait a minute. Let me tell you my sadness, too. Let me tell you my heartache and pain, too. Hold on. Let me call all the women that's hurting right now so we all can let you know how we feeling. Hmm. Don't do that. Don't call me with guilt trip. Call me when you happy. Okay, now, it's one thing when, you know, it's, you know, one in a million, every blue moon, you know, you just having a bad day. That's one thing. But when you just, every time you call it in, I'm looking at my phone like, oh, she's going through. Oh, he cheated, he lied, and he ain't do right. Oh, he's mistreating her, and he's treating her like crap. You know, come on, man. Like, Get from away from me. Don't do that. Don't do that. I find you so annoying. If you don't know, now you know. That's why I answer my phone. Because you're annoying. Like, call somebody else. Because I don't want to hear it. Okay. Um, where we at? Oh, number seven. Um, when, when somebody put a so-called friend, a so-called friend, when someone put a so-called friend on blast, like, come on now, you don't have to put your friend on blast, especially if you're even considering them as a friend, you don't have to put them on blast, like, you don't have to do that, that's not even necessary, like, come on now, I mean, you do consider them as a friend, so why you putting them on blast, I mean, if they said something or if they did something stupid, like, it's nothing to pull a person to the side and let them know. You don't have to do it in front of everybody. Didn't somebody teach you or tell you that? Ugh. Don't do that. Don't do that. I find you so annoying. Like, don't do that. Hmm. Okay. And, um, number six. Um... Yes, I'm reading my notes, y'all. When a woman of color or a women of color answer to anything, like, you know, considering that thought and so forth, so forth, like 304 and all of that, like, come on, sis. Have some self-respect about yourself. Like, you really answering to that? You really going to answer to that? Like, what did your mama name you? Because I know she didn't name you that. And so you cool and you laughing and you smiling and you grinning because they called you what? So you feeling famous now? You 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 annoy me. Like, get from away from me. Move around. Don't call me no thought because, baby, you want to catch these hands. Don't do that. Mm-mm. Yes, but I can't stand when um, women of color, like, confront each other or greet each other being disrespectful and having no self-respect and yes i did say having no self-respect because you couldn't per possibly have self-respect for yourself or for your sis or for your friend when y'all greeting each other calling each other out of out of names you know calling each other names or whatever like Come on in. Like, my mind can't even process that. I'm I'm struggling at even explaining because it shouldn't even have to be explained. Like, it's so sad. But, yes, don't do that. I find it so annoying. But, anyways. Um, number five. I can't stand a selfish person. I find that so annoying. Like, you know, everybody is up cleaning and you're just standing there or you're just sitting there while everybody else is helping clean and helping set up and you're too good to help. Don't come talk to me because, baby, you you going to feel all the tension and all the energy and all the flames and fire. Don't do that. You too good to help? Well, get from away from me because you're going to feel it today. It's nothing to help. It's nothing to be a team player. Like, 
Come on, yo. Because if it was you, you would want us to help you. So why not help and be a team player? You ain't got to be so selfish. You don't have to be so selfish. Hmm. Don't do that. Okay. And number four. Um... Oh, claim to love someone, but quick to embarrass them. I can't stand it. When you claim to love somebody, but you quick to embarrass them. Come on now. Like, that person might be really going through something or they might be really feeling some type of way. You don't have to embarrass them, even though you may feel some type of way or you may have a personal judgment towards that person at that moment in time. You know, you should pull them aside and let them know how you feeling or what's on your mind. You don't have to make a worldwide announcement because, you know, you don't like what they have on or, you know, you don't like what they doing or whatever. Like, you just said you love them. You just confess your love about them, but you're going to embarrass them. I don't even want you talking to me because, I mean, if you claim to fix your mouth to say you love me and then you blast me in front of everybody, oh, don't, don't even do that to yourself. But, you know, you don't have to do that. Like, come on, you You claim to love them. Act like you. Don't do that. Don't do that. You annoying. I can't stand you. Ugh. <laughs> Anyways, um, number three, number three, y'all, number three, y'all, we almost had number one, number three, y'all. Okay, um, when I, when I cook and you're too good to wash the dishes, like, come on, man, I cooked, so, like, is it really that hard to wash the dishes, or at least that hard to wash your dish? I mean, like... I cooked. You wanted to eat. You can't wash your dish or you can't wash dishes. Like, don't expect a meal tomorrow because I'm not cooking. No, not happening. It's not happening. Don't do that. Clean up after yourself. Wash your own dish. Then you might get a meal. Or go somewhere else. Maybe somewhere. But here. Anyways, um, number two, um, oh, I, y'all, this, this annoys the crap out of me. Like, first, I just want to say all big people don't walk and eat. You know what I'm saying? Some of us just healthy, sis. Some of us just healthy. You know what I'm saying? Some of us just full figured and we just blessed like that. So, you know, all of us don't sit, walk, and eat. I just want to put that out there. Like, all of us don't sit, walk, and eat. Okay? Which goes back to my number two. Uh, when when people make a remark about when people make a remark about me being hungry, um, excuse me. Yes, I'm plus size. Yes, I'm a BBW. Yes, I am curvaceous, baby. But I don't walk and eat. And no, I'm not hungry. If you are, then just say that. Don't think I'm hungry because we pay some all these food places. No, I'm not hungry. Are you? What well, didn't just say that? Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't think all big people hungry and all they do is walk and eat. Because, baby, I can go all day and not eat nothing and you wouldn't even know it. Hmm. So don't do that. Don't think all big people are hungry, okay? Don't think I'm hungry because you might hear something from me and you might not like it. Okay, so number one, y'all. Number one, y'all. Oh, when they put flowers all over clothes, y'all. I can't, I can't stand when I go shopping. And I be mad excited, y'all. I be turned up. Turned up. Hey, about to go shopping. About to go get some fish. About to get that. Ooh. And get in there, y'all. And it's some big old sunflowers and 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 uh tulips and stuff all over the coast. Like, honey. 
all of us don't want flowers all over our clothes. You know what I'm saying? Now, on to the sister, you know, she, she cool with having flowers everywhere. But all of us don't want flowers all over our clothes. We know we big. We know we healthy. We know we blessed. But who said we wanted flowers all over our clothes? Don't do that. Don't do that. You so annoying. Like, don't do that. Don't do that. But, yeah, y'all. So, those are the top 10 things that I can't stand and that really annoy me. So, if you're around me or happen to hang out with me, don't do that. Like, go back, rewatch, watch again, watch again and again and again and again. Because trust and believe. If you do any of those things, you might get a response that you might not like. Or you might get a look that you might not like. So, don't do that. And what, what do people do that you can't stand? Tell me down in the comments below. What what what, what do people do that annoy you? Because, baby, I keep the list going. You hear me? Like, people can do stuff that can really aggravate you and be so annoying. But I just wanted to, you know... Share that with y'all because today is March the 10th and why not tell y'all the 10 things that annoy me? So have a good one. Good vibes and good energy coming your way. Um, Hopefully you got a laugh or two or a few in. And um, don't forget to like, don't forget to comment, and don't forget to subscribe. And vibe with your girl because I vibe back. Ooh.